to my extremely realistic, the most authentic routine video that I've ever done here on YouTube. There's not gonna be any like fancy like, oh, I'm wearing a robe and I'm showing you all this cute, cool footage of all the things. That's not what this routine video is. So if you're here for that, then it's a waste. But before you click away, know that this might seem very familiar to you. Maybe this is what your routines look like and I wanted to bring something extremely realistic here for y'all today. So while it is realistic, I am going to be extra, okay? We're going to be extra tonight because my husband is working and I got the house to myself. So that's what, that's what we're doing. I'm going to give myself some extra TLC, some pampering time for mama because we're still in a pandemic, which means I can't go out to a spa and get it really, you know, the works, the way you would want it done. So I'm going to give myself the work. To get started, I figure this was, there's no more, there's not much of a perfect time than now to go ahead and do this part. So first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> first things first, what we're gonna do, brought you to the bathroom. Um, Mila is like almost asleep, so you might hear her a little bit in the background. She's fighting it a little bit. Um, so that's what's happening in the background. But I'm going to go ahead and put a clear gloss on my hair. And that has to sit for like 35 minutes. So I wanna go ahead and get that started. And while that's sitting, I'll probably I don't know what I'm gonna do to be honest with you. I ain't even, I ain't got a bit of an agenda for this. No agenda. Baby crying in the background. We just winging it, just like I do with everything else. <sighs> Clear gloss time. Um, this is just the one that I so happen to have, so that's what I'm putting on, and it comes with gloves, so we're just gonna put them on. I've never used it before. Um, so we gonna see how it does. It's by Madison Reed. I have no idea how long I've had it, so hopefully it still works, but I didn't want to color my hair. I haven't colored my hair in over a year, um, so I just want to see how far I can go. You can definitely tell my natural red is coming through in the front, mousy browns. I'm also going to show y'all me styling my hair once I get done with it, because I got a lot of questions about that with the twist out that I did, so I might do a twist out for y'all. I haven't decided. Once again, we're just winging it. You can still see my broke off hair from postpartum. I had these broke off pieces behind my ear. Don't don't really know. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this going. Mm. I need a comb. Me need comb. Me need comb. As much as I would like to sit here and chat with y'all and just run my mouth till there's no end. I know some of you just thoroughly enjoy that. I is, I'm gonna catch up on a show because this is one of the only times that mama gets to watch a show. So I'm gonna watch a show while I do this. Still catching up on Married at First Sight. Finally gonna watch The Weddings and I think and I, I think a new episode comes on tonight so we might be watching a new episode too. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? Keep it. 
only on Lifetime. Life takes softness and all right gloss is on i don't know if i was supposed to use all of this but i mean i got i don't have a lot of hair but i do if that makes sense my hair is just gonna soak this up i don't have a lot of hair but i have very porous now i've already took these off why would i do this Because I haven't colored my hair in so long, it is, it's just lacking that oomph that color gives it. You know when you've just freshly colored your hair, how much like it's just alive looking. I feel like my hair has been so dull and because I'm wearing it curly, I feel like that makes it look even more dull. If the gloss works really well, then I'll continue to just do clear gloss and let my natural thrive. If not, I think I'm going to go with a 3RV, which is red violet. It'll be dark because it's a 3, but it'll still give me a little bit of something where it's not just like straight up black. I already told homegirl. We have to call her homegirl because if you say her name, the heifer goes to popping up and listening to you. So you just have to say homegirl. I have got me a little petty bath over here that I haven't used in probably five years. <laughs> um, but it was either this or just a big bowl out of the kitchen. And I forgot I had this. It just dawned on me. So I have run some water in it. And if I don't have enough, I'll just go get some more. Um, but what? Let me, let me throw that up. Um, I'm going to soak these feet because they're looking a mess because your girl is the type that needs a pedicure not for the comfort of it not for the you know like the pretty painted toes like I need it because my feet I need it okay and I haven't been able to get one of those so I'm having to do it to myself so I'm gonna let my feet soften up some in the water and then Then once it's all softened up, I'm gonna take my some I don't remember what this is called, and I'm gonna file all the nasty off. I'm gonna take my toto polish off that should have been took off, and I'm gonna paint them. And then we're gonna hop in the shower and wash this. And that's what we're gonna do. to throw some jam jams on and then we're going to talk about some things that I just use in the shower because I know you are going to ask and while most times things just don't change much over here I know some of you are new so we will chat over some things jam jams are on and my skin's feeling real parched so hold on hold on I'm just gonna use my two-in-one <laughs> toner it has like an oil in it, but it's also a toner. And it just is my favorite way to tone and hydrate my face like right out of the shower. So if you are not washing your face in the shower when you're washing your body, if you are staying in actual sink, throwing water everywhere, you need to rethink things. <laughs> Do it in the shower. All my stuff is up in the shower. It's just easy that way. So let me, let me grab some things and show you. Everything's a bit moist. <laughs> Are you one of those people that does not like that word? If so, sorry. All right, let's start with skincare first. I exfoliate my skin once a week. Um, so normally when I exfoliate is when I um, am doing all of my like hair washing things. So I also wash my hair once a week. We'll, we'll talk about that. Um, but I will cleanse and exfoliate once a week. But I cleanse every time I wash. Um, and this is just the special cleansing gel and the daily microfoliant. I know it says daily. I don't use it daily. Like I said, 
once a week and I can just mix those together and do it at once rather than what I used to do was one at a time. Now I just mix them together and kill two birds with one stone. Skin wise, I absolutely love skin apothetic. I think is how it's pronounced. Um, it used to be Skin and Apothecary, I think is what the name was, but they changed the name. Their Sugar Glow is my most favorite thing in life, y'all. I swear by this stuff. It's like $20 a jar, but y'all need to put no lotion on when you use this. I use this a few times a week. Um, this jar is, this one is Cassis, but it's not my favorite. The scent's not my favorite. The one that is my favorite is Poppy. And yes, I keep this stocked up. I don't want to run out of this. So this is like one of those things that when somebody asks you what you want for your birthday, I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> okay. um, try it, y'all. It is the best. The blend of oils that they use is bomb. Poppy was the first scent that I tried, and I swore that this is what Oprah probably smelled like. It smells like money like class and typically I'm not a floral you know kind of girl but this doesn't smell I don't want to I can kind of smell it not really <laughs> um they have other things like whipped body butters and body washes I do have the body wash that goes with this in the shower but this sugar glow is my favorite they also have a salt one but there's something about this one that is amazing and people that have tried it have told me that it is amazing make sure you stir it up first because all the oil is going to be sitting at the top and you don't want to use it all you know in the first round so just stir it up and just <laughs> i love this when i was pregnant i would use it on my belly I like the sugar glow because it's a little more mild as far as like scrubbing goes the salt is more abrasive um but the sugar this one's my favorite um another scent santorini is another really good scent i can't remember what it smells like i have used this one and then put it back this one smells really clean i don't know i can't describe any of them i think maybe they have descriptions of the scents on their website if not i'm sorry just go with poppy <laughs> I need to try out some other ones. This one is sort of outdoorsy, some kind of something outdoorsy. I can't put my finger on it, but clearly I used it. I don't know, it's, it is clean, almost perfume, but not. <laughs> I so can't explain it what these things smell like. Okay, now, I talked about hair a smidgen. I said that I washed it once a week. If you are a curly girl, you know that the longer you can go, the better. And I typically wash it, like, once a week, pretty much. Sometimes I go, like, that fifth day and I wash it. It just all depends on what's going on. Um, but I use my Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, which is just, like, custom shampoo and conditioner. So, whatever you need it for, you answer a quiz, and you get that. Then, um, I also deep condition once a week. So pretty much every time I wash my hair, because I only wash it once a week, I will deep condition, which is really good for my hair type. Um, and I've been using the Aussie 3 Minute Curls. Um, I did ask Homegirl to set a timer, but I went over. I probably left it on for like six minutes. So I will put this on, do all my skincare, exfoliate, wash, do all that, and then rinse everything off, rinse that out. Um, so I do like this. Um, I had some others. I'll link a mask down below that I really, really love. Um, but I was out of it. And this is just, it's affordable. Let's be honest. Um, it does a pretty good job. So that is all that I did in the shower. Yes, that's all I did in the shower. Now I'm going to finish off my skincare so that we can do this hair. And we're going to try something new because I found this in my office as I was cleaning it out the other day. And this is one of the So AE something other. It's a sleeping mask. So it's like the final step. I can still smell <laughs> that sugar glow. Um, it's the final step in your skincare. So I'm going to put on this serum, which is like magic in a bottle. You know what? Let's not waste it. Let's just let it drip on my face. I am an avid believer in smashing in my face products. More so my serums. This one is amazing. I will link this too. This one is pricey, but you literally use a few drops. So this bottle will last forever. And 
I know my skin. I, I'm going to read what it says. Feather light treatment oil reinforces the skin's protective barrier. Next generation formula rapidly absorbs to replenish protective lipids depleted by aging and environmental stress. <laughs> the lighting in here sucks. But my skin loves this stuff, and I don't know anybody's skin that does not. All right, I am going to use the Dewy Skin by Tatcha tonight. That will be my moisturizer. Link it to, once again, it's a little on the pricey side. But this one is the thick one. And it goes a long way. Once you use this, you will never, ever, 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 ever want to use a cheap moisturizer ever again <laughs> my skin absolutely loves it there is the dewy one and the water one depends on um if you have more dry or combination or oily or whatever um i have them both just depends on the day because i feel like i my skin can go from either or um, i feel like it's super important to invest in skincare i didn't always think that because i just didn't understand um but I learned that with investing in skincare and seeing the difference in my skin, how big of a difference it makes. Um, not only do I drink a lot of water, but I feel like these, and I use really simple things. So I used to like do so many steps, but now I wash it, moisturize. That's normally about it. Um, but I do try to make sure that I get in at least twice a week where I'm using my toner and um, my serum and my moisturizer, that's it. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut lip balm on. My skin, my lips also need a little bit of healthy. Now, I am gonna wash my hand off real quick. And we're going to see what this, it's called a donkey. Or a donkey, <laughs> donkey milk sleeping mask, and it says restore skin while sleeping. I've never heard of it, so this should be very interesting. Something else that I do that I think is very important is making sure that when I dry my face off after I wash it, it is a clean towel it is not a towel that's been sitting on the towel rack for five years or all week long i use a clean towel to wipe my face off and i try to wash my hands before i go and put you know other things on it so this you can leave on overnight it says use as your final skincare step at night on cleansed skin i really hope this doesn't mess my skin up um apply generously to your face and neck Gentle enough to be used every night. Can be used alone or after serum or moisturizer. Rinse off with water the next morning. Mm. Let's try out this donkey milk. <laughs> uh, are you gonna come out of here, honey, or what? Any day now. It's pretty thick. I was thinking it was gonna be way more watery. Okay, it's not like thick and creamy, cra like crazy creamy, but it's also not, it's a, actually a really good consistency. It says generously, so I'm gonna, we'll do what it says. Maybe I'll wake up looking like Dunky off of Shrek. <laughs> when, he, when he turns into the horse that time. Oh gosh. Now we're gonna go oh gosh, up the neck. Always go up the neck. Don't wanna pull it down. We want to help ourselves to not have wrinkles. I probably put way too much on, but I think my skin should soak some of it up before I lay down. Cause we still got to do this head. If y'all wanted to know how this ended up, make sure to comment down below and ask me my thoughts on it and I will let you know. Because of course, by the time this video goes up, I will have thoughts. So make sure you ask that. Now, you guys highly requested to see me style my hair. 
So I think I'm gonna do a twist out, I think. We're gonna sit down and chat. First, I'm gonna go get a refill. <laughs> and then we'll figure it out. Alrighty. So let me grab four of these. I'm doing this twist out. There's of course hair on them. So when I do braid outs, I can just tie it up at the end and it's fine. But with the twist outs, because they're just twists and they're not braids, they don't hold all that well. Um, so I will like finish them off with these flexi rods. I don't think everybody does this, but I feel like I have a cohesive curl pattern all the way down when I do it with this. I've tried it before just with like a hair tie at the end and it didn't like look completed, if that makes sense. So, like I said, I washed my hair. Here she is. Um, it's hard to tell with the gloss that I put on it because y'all can see my natural coming in. It's really light. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it just because it's so like ashy toned mixed with some red. It's just really weird. Um, but those curls are looking pretty um, nourished. Let's so say there's nothing on it yet. So I'm going to use the Maui Moisture Curl Quench Coconut Oil. Oh, Curl Quench and Coconut Oil curl smoothie. I use it for my braid out, I did it, the braid out that I did last time. Um, I haven't just like let my hair go curly in a long time, but I need, I need to film a um, video tomorrow and I need to know that it's going to look good. <laughs> so one way that I can ensure that it will look good is by doing a twist out or braid out. And braid outs I typically do those and leave the braids in for a hot minute. Um, twist out, I take it out the next day. But I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I'm looking at my curls and I'm like, do I wanna do that or do I just wanna let it live? If I'm gonna be trying on, cause I'm doing a fashion video, so I'm trying to think like, okay, if you're doing that, you're gonna have to try clothes on and off and your hair is gonna show that. So you might need to do a twist out. And then next time, next time we'll do curls just down. There's just something about when your hair is fresh and clean and you just, mm. I put the product in it as I section it off so that it's, I know that it's all um, nicely saturated and that the sections were damp enough for the product to work. Um, so I do typically wear my hair parted like that when I wear it curly. So we're just going to go with that part so I normally like to do like somewhat of a ziggy zaggy something other, but not too crazy because when I go to pulling hair to, I do this with the braid out too. Um, I'll get confused and then there's so much, there's too much of a zigzag, you know what I mean? Going all the way down the back of my head. I typically do like, I think six sections, but we're gonna attempt in doing four because with a braid out, I only do two and I get really great results just from two. It has already started drying some at my, on my trouble areas. Got my handy dandy water bottle. I'm just going to take, mist it through the bottom there. We don't want it like dripping wet, but my hair and a lot of curly girl hair will absorb the product a lot better and it'll work better if the hair's wet. We are going to split this into two. Pray that it goes well, because like I said, I typically do way more sections than this. Maybe I should split that right there. Also time consuming, but when I tell you that the results looks really, really good, and I can trust that my hair is going to look good, I know that if you're a curly girl, you understand what I'm saying when I say that. Like curls have a mind of their own, and you never know how they're gonna turn out. <laughs> but I know that when I do one of these, I know the way it's gonna look. I'm gonna take this. I like using this because it has aloe vera gel in it. So it's gonna give it some hold, but it's not heavy. I'm gonna show you how to do one section and then I'm gonna watch my shows. <laughs> I love the feel of this stuff. I also love the smell. It smells really, really good. Um, it's very affordable. I'll link it 
below in the description box. So like I said, I get a little dry here in the front. I think that's something postpartum because I never did before. Um, so just making sure I got it all in all the creases. And I'm just gonna take my comb again. This is gonna help make sure the product's well distributed. And to get rid of any tangles before I get ready to start. Now before I get ready to start, you see all this extra product that's in there? We don't put that back in our hair. Actually, we're going to take, we're gonna make sure there isn't any extra. Just gonna twist her and all of this my fingers don't take it out because if there's any extra or if it's like really really like dripping wet it will take forever to dry and you don't want that it's not dripping wet I got all the extra product out we are ready we're gonna start all the way over here about this big of a section you can if you want to you don't have to you can comb out your sections I typically normally just come out the first one and you're going to go in with your thumb grab about the same ish size take my hand and just make sure it's not tangled smooth that down we're just going to twist it all right twist now we have the one that was on top we have it down here we're just going to lay it down and grab more hair with it this is how i get my hand back up there all right and twist so pretty much you're just anybody can twist two pieces of hair together but what you're doing is that piece that you twist behind you're just laying it down and grabbing up another piece of hair with it and then you twist again so it'll look like this now once i get all the way over here i will take something in make sure that both pieces are still pretty good and detailed because you're doing a lot of flipping around so it's easy for it to get tangled up All right, now I've gotten to the point where I don't have any more hair left that I'm picking up off my scalp. So I'll, all I have are these. So now I'm just going to continue to twist them. I'm gonna stop right quick and comb them out. And I'm directing mine behind my ear so that it won't be hanging all in my face. I'm gonna tie a satin scarf around my hair though before I go to bed. I do sleep on a silk or satin, whatever pillowcase but just to make sure that this stuff doesn't move plus I have some breakage um, what ends up happening is the satin scarf will lay all of it down and it will look super clean and put together I don't know if you can see you see all that breakage right there all of that will be laying down with the help of my handy dandy scarf so I'm just gonna take it and twist that and then roll it up onto itself so that it's kind of like locked into place. Bend down one, bend up the other. There you go. One section down. Keep looking in the viewfinder because it's like my mirror. <laughs> but that's what it'll look like. Away. And there you have it. Now let's do the other three. All done. It is not at all the cutest thing ever in the world. This is not something I would leave my house in. But, like I said, 
the curls turn out fantastic. So I'm gonna put my stuff up and I'm gonna go grab my scarf real quick so I can show you guys how I tie it on in case you wanna know because that's something that I'm like, how do I get this sucker to stay on my head? So I think I have managed to figure that out. <laughs> I can link the scarf down below because I did purchase it on Amazon. You want the shiny side touching your head because that's the silky side. So you want that side against your hair. So sometimes I forget how to put it on. <laughs> All right, this side, yeah. All right, so I folded it in half and we're going to lay the straight side on our forehead. Sometimes I lay this on the bed and then like put my head into it. It's easier that way. But I can't show y'all that way. So I'm just gonna take <laughs> I'm gonna tie this, but we're also gonna make sure that our little tail back there is tucked, which is why I like to do this upside down. But it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna take all those little um what are they called? Flacy rods? and just tuck them, hold on, let me put that there. Tuck them under that little tail. Once again, a lot easier if you just lay your head on the, on your bed or something flat. And I'm gonna take this, got a twist that's wanting to, all right, you get back there. Oh, this is so much easier when you do it on the bed. <laughs> this. And now that I got it situated, I'm just going to pull it. There's my tail. So I think and you're going to tie it once. Tighten and you'll pull it around to the front and tie it again. But I'm going to go lay on the bed because I just don't feel like it's right. <laughs> I'm back. See how much snugger it is? I will pull it back because I don't like it on my forehead, but I'll tie it again in the front because this is what helps it stay so neatly. Then I will take the front and pull it over where I just tied and expose my ears because I will burn slam up and I'll take the little tail back there and pull it and then just you can leave it hanging but I don't like anything like on my neck and my ears and stuff and there she is I like the bandana for this because like I said, I feel like it's just more, it's more secure and it's just gonna slick all that hair back. Whereas if you did like a cap, it's still just really loose in there. So I feel like this just keeps it all in place. So I'm gonna go watch my show in bed. I'm gonna turn on the TV and not watch on this little screen anymore. Um, finish my little glass here. And I hope y'all enjoyed this totally random um, <laughs> like night routine of mine. If you want to see more of these incredibly realistic videos, these routine videos, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you'll have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>